Okay, before we start, I want to recommend you a channel of Zephy Wings. They just started their journey of rusty like theorizing and seem to take it very, very seriously, which I can only respect. This community needs people like that, and they, they need our support. I know what it's like to have a niche slowly growing channel. I'll leave the link to the relevant video in the description. Thank you. Welcome all alive to my nest, here's now here, and we have news from Rusty Lake. Featuring in this episode, the studio's 9th anniversary, the new underground Blossom Station, a secret minigame, and a tabletop game reveal. So, Rusty Lake Studio has turned 9, and we have witnessed an unprecedented parade of generosity comparable only to the release of the Samsara Room remake four years ago. A week of sales, to which the video is late, festive streams on Steam, but the highlight of the program is the long-awaited new station in Underground Blossom, completely free for those who already bought the game. And it truly turned out to be the laboratory from the past within, just as I assumed back in the 60s. With middle-aged rows that we saw on the secret VHS tape in the best kept memory ARG. Since then, we've had various teasers with styles and a cleaner. And yeah, it turned out he was the one behind the door, not Rose. In order to get to this new station, you need to call the number from the update trailer using the phone in the Chad Lane station. You can also find the number in the black suitcase in the main menu, but only if you started a new save after the update. The newest station even further linked Underground Blossom and the past within, showing what was happening to Rose between them and hinting at her motivation. And a small update personally from me, I'm already weaving all these into video scripts covering their theories. Lastly, we were given something resembling a teaser for a new yet unnamed game, continuing the story arc of Albert and Rose. If so, I'm very content. Besides that, the developers gifted us a secret 8-bit style minigame in the past within. To unlock it, you need to complete the lap level and gather all the clues. The game is called Run Harvey Run. And Harvey runs. He runs from a corrupted soul through the entire underground Blossom subway line, dodging various obstacles. The game also includes a leaderboard loaded from a cloud. And you can actually make it onto there. In addition to that, at the new station one more teaser was hidden. This time it's about the tabletop game we've been following all this time. You can find it if you manage to solve the puzzle in the corresponding video on the developer's channel. The game will be titled Rusty Lake Untold. And the teaser provides a link to a website that gives us almost exhaustive information. So Rusty Lake Untold is a framework for campaigns in Room Escape genre, where the game master guides up to four players. The campaigns will be written in advance by the developers, and all the game master needs to do is to download the instructions and printable cards. And no, it seems there won't be any fancy physical paid edition after all. Preparing one campaign should take about half an hour on average, and the game session itself will last around one to one and a half hours. In the best D&D traditions, the Game Master describes what's happening to the players, adding in illustrations on the cards. Judging by all the materials we've received so far, there will be character cards, note cards, location cards, and, as shown in the video, puzzle cards at these locations. Following the cards and the GM's descriptions, the players should describe the actions they are about to take. And if this leads to solving a puzzle, the GM encourages their progress by developing the situation. Now regarding the campaigns. The first one is expected to be released in a few months, but you can sign up for early access on the game's website. This first campaign will be free. If everything goes well, the second one should be released by the end of 2024. And if it ends up financially successful, I expect more campaigns in the future. And now, I must admit my mistake. I thought the game would be a single one and apparently mixed up these two upcoming campaigns. No, it definitely won't take place at Rusty Lake Mental Health and Fishing, and no, this clinic most likely is not built on the Vandermoom House. 
The first free campaign will take place in Rose's laboratory, and we will probably play as test subjects whose memories have been extracted and who the bats in the secret room at the research facility likely belong to. And as the antagonist, we will probably have Albert's corrupted soul, which has turned the laboratory into its hunting grounds. The second campaign, judging by the cast that were teased, will indeed take place in the Vanderbilt house. I can't imagine any other place like that where William's portrait would be present in the attic. Another question that really interests me. It seems that the story and puzzles will be written quite in detail. Dang, they even have notes ready. As a theorist, I only welcome this. But won't the so-called railroading hurt replayability when every single game strictly follows the pre-written script with no right for deviations? Will it be interesting for players to return to the game, for example, with a new group? For now, I'm not ready to tell. I can assume that the flop plan, the order of puzzles and the rewards for solving them will be at the discretion of the GM. Perhaps it won't be so important for the plot which one of the locked chests contains the key, which one of the locked doors it can open, and exactly where this door is located. The important plot points will find their place in this chain one way or another. And that's all for today. If you have any speculations about the campaign plots and how they will play out, feel free to write in the comments. Here is Noah. I'll continue to keep you updated on the news. And remember, question everything in Rusty Lake.